Yo, what's happening everybody? King GBL here, and welcome back to our new Gobat League video. Today I'm going to be showcasing a really fun team in the Open Great League featuring Vigoroth. Vigoroth is a really fun Pokemon to use. Of course, it knows Counter, Body Slam, and Bulldoze. So it has a lot of play against the Steel types in the meta, and it has a lot of play even against things like Noctowl with the neutral Body Slams. And of course, with Lantern, you can go for Bulldoze. So in general, this Pokemon has a lot of play. It's really spammy. And I think it's a great safe swap and a great option in the current meta. The way this team is designed here is with Trevenant in the front and Lantern in the back. What is Trevenant weak to? It is weak to the Owl. Um, what is strong against the Owl? Lantern. What is Lantern weak to? Trevenant. Uh, Trevenant beats Trevenant, kind of, so that, that's kind of like the sort of the weak spot. In general though, a Trevenant performs against all of the Olive Grass types. Um, I do end up getting some Trevenant leads and you just kind of stay in there. Uh, what I kind of like to do is shield once and farm down. So that might be something that's a little bit tricky for this team. Some other Pokemon that are kind of core breakers for this team are Gliscor, which you don't always see at lower elos, but I did happen to see Trevenant and Gliscor in the same team, and that will be pretty much impossible to beat, unfortunately. So guys, as always, your team is only as good as what you're facing. If you're facing teams all the time which are really strong against this, of course it will not be that strong. My thinking behind building this team was that I want to build a team that is pretty much neutral or super effective against uh, Bastidon and Victory Bell. Yesterday I seen Bastidon or Victory Bell about 15 times. Of course I was running Swampert, Ice and Flyer. Ice and Flyer of course being very weak to Bastidon. Now that I run this team I think I only seen Bastidon twice today, or has I seen it 15 times yesterday. That's just how it goes I guess, but I'm happy enough if I don't see them to be honest with you. Guys I'm going to introduce something new on the channel here, we're going to start doing question of the day. Definitely a super original idea, definitely did not steal it off Callum on Toast. Definitely thought that up by myself here. But today's question of the day is, how are you finding the open Great League meta? And which Pokemon do you think should be nerfed and buffed? Recently I done a community post, and 40% said Noctowl is the most overpowered, and followed by Swampert with 21% and Metacham with 19%. Let me know in the comments down below what you would like to do to improve the Great League meta, and thank you everybody for the support in these videos. We're gonna hop into these battles, and if you do enjoy these types of videos, uh, quickly subscribe now and hit that like button as well. Thank you guys, and let's hop into these. So, we've got Vigoroth, is this on Noctowl here, or sorry it's on Azumarill. Um, so basically the plan here is just to spam this as much as possible. Um, we're going to try to throw after good timing, get off as many body slams as possible, and these really start adding up on this bulky bunny. <laughs> this thing, it can take a lot of shots, but after a little minute here, like this is going to start getting really low, and you know, we might even be uh, forcing the opponent to throw energy here, which is great. And the opponent will fire off a, an ice beam or a player off here, it is a player off, and it doesn't quite take out Vigoroth. Vigoroth has a decent enough amount of bulk, and at this point we're going to come in with Trevenant, knowing that they have Noctowl, and that this thing, we might as well get some usage out of it. They do come back in with Noctowl, and this is perfect at this point. We have our Lantern aligned to this, and we've got the Azumarill super low. Um, so we basically just RPS our way through this game, and this is going to be GG basically. And the opponent can fire off uh, Sky Attack, we catch it on the Lantern here as well. And we're just going to go for Surf, we've no need to even go for Thunderbolt at this point. And um, we can just Surf and farm down, uh, the opponent has to shield everything here at this point. And yep, we're just going to just keep chunking this thing away, and we're going to just let the second one go. Just in case they do decide to go for a bait, and we're going to come in and go for a body slam. This will get the opponent very low, and at this point they will be forced to throw. We're in very low health with the Vigoroth, so this is working out perfectly. Counters of course do add up, and we can just go for one surf, and basically, oh, I think we'll almost take it out with the surf. Um, doesn't quite, but we can get a little farm down as well. Um, of course we no shielded the second one, because we can live it, and um, I was just trying to pull a sky attack that they might uh, decide to go for. I was a little bit concerned they might get to like an ice beam or a player off here, but it does take uh, a zoom roll a minute to get to these moves, and we do take it out. So good games, um, if you get that, that particular lead, like it just is pretty much an insta win for you. I've seen that team actually a couple of times today. Um, as you can see, I've dropped down to about 2160, like I was up to about 2300 again, and uh, yesterday was just a super rough day, like I said, with running a flyer. Um, we've got a very good lead here, it's Venusaur. I like to just stay in here and take switch on this. Um, I'm going to go straight for the Shadow Ball. You're going to see me here getting laggy bubbles. Um, which is pretty annoying because the opponent lives it on zero health. <laughs> they live it on one health. If I got my bubbles free, I would have taken it out. So I'm forced to shield up here, which is super annoying. And yeah, that's that's kind of rough. That uh, like literally, it was exactly enough for one HP. Um, they come in here. Or, or sorry, they come in with Noctowl. I'll come in with Vigoroth, um, because it is pretty neutral against Noctowl. And they come into Lantern. So this team completely wrecks the Noctowl Lantern core as well. Uh, Bulldoze would not quite one shot it, but it would get it really low. And um, the opponent's in a bit of a mess here. Am I going to commit to another Bulldoze? I think I do settle for a Body Slam here, because we'll start getting it low. And, uh, you know, it doesn't really matter at this point. Um, the opponent can fire off their energy, and we can get a, a bit of a farm with uh, Trevenant. And basically, I uh, just try to run down the clock here. Yeah, so I think I'm just going to come in with Trevenant. Um, I can just take it straight out. No need to shield anything here. I've got a Lantern, of course, for the Noctowl. 
And at this point, they come in with Noctile, we come in with Lantern, and this is going to be GG. Um, so again, we're just kind of RPSing these really strong meta teams, and that's kind of what you love to see with teams. Um, again, I'll be completely real with you guys, I went 8 out of 10 for the first two sets, and I just got all of the hard counters you could possibly imagine with this team for the remaining three sets. I think I went 5 and 15 afterwards, so like I gained like 16 elo today or some rubbish like that. <laughs> um, you wouldn't believe the leads I got. I think I got a Scrafty lead three or four times, which is a bit of a core breaker. I got a Linoon lead, which was pretty rough. I got some Gliscors and Trevenants, and generally just leads that were pretty rough. Uh, some of the matches that I won were, you know, games with uh, things like a uh, Galarian Stunfisk uh, is, is manageable with this team for sure. Um, things like Swambert, of course, you win the lead with Trevenant. And we do get a, a Mandibuzz here, um, so I'm just swapping straight out. This is not a great match for Vigor of Eller. And then comes Metacham. So we're just going to basically spam off body slams, that's what this, uh, this thing is for here. And about three body slams would get this thing into a very low range. I did decide to shield up, um, which is pretty bad shield. But these power punch middies, I honestly can't stand them at times. They always seem to come out whenever I'm using like a normal type, or like a steel type in the back, which is kind of annoying. Um, but we're just going to let this go at this point. Trevlin's going to come in and get a little bit of a farm up, and I think we're not going to let them get off a move here. A boosted ice, ice punch or psychic would come pretty close to uh, threatening this thing. And we're just going to hard swap into our lantern. I don't want to get farmed down with Mandibuzz, and they come in with a lantern of their own. So we have to take out uh, Mandibuzz and lantern with our own lantern, which is going to be a little bit tricky. So at some point we're going to need to do a catch or something here, or we're going to have to try and do something. But um, what I decided to do here is call the first one. I thinking, yeah, they're going to go for a surf bait. That's so silly. If you're in this position, you just go straight for it. I should have shielded up this next one here, because I thought it might have been just a Surf, but um, it does turn out to be the Thunderbolt, which is kind of rough. So we're getting into a very low health here. The opponent let it go, and I do have a half chance here. Um, I'm not very good at counting Mandibuzz's energy, and they do get off a move here. So I'm thinking I can throw four, and then go for Thunderbolt, and then swap out. One, two, three. Ah, see, I, I, I was just not keeping track of the energy. I'll be real with you guys, I don't know the energy in this thing. So maybe if I had a swapped out to Trevenant, um, and caught the move. I might have been able to get off two Thunderbolts, but you know, even then it's it's gonna be rough there. Um, so we're currently 3-1 here in the set, so definitely looking very good. Um, it was just my lack of knowledge in Mandibuzz that was kind of costing me there, but uh, I think even if I did make that catch, it was still looking pretty rough, um, especially if the opponent uh, undercharges and go for the farm down. So GG's to the opponent there, and we're gonna hop into the next one. All right, so hopefully we have a better lead here. Let's have a look. Trevenant into Pelipper. So this is a pretty bad lead, but it's not terrible because here's the thing, we can go for a seed bombs, which will be neutral on this thing. Um, I'm not 100% sure about this matchup, maybe you guys know it better than I do, but you might win this in the two shield. The opponent goes straight for a Weller Ball here, which is interesting. I guess the opponent probably can win with wing attack and Weller Balls. So we do catch that and we draw out a Metacham, which is good. Um, so, so far so good here. We'll see what the opponent has in the back. Um, I'm at this point a little bit worried that they might have like a, a Stunfisk in the back. So that's the kind of thing, like... Lantern's okay against Stunfisk, um, Trevlin's okay against Stunfisk, but of course your hardest answer would be the, um, yeah, so I actually let the opponent take me out here, so I'm basically putting it all on Lantern. Maybe I should have shielded here once, and, yeah, tried to do something. I shielded an Ice Punch, which is brutal. Um, I think that shield of the Ice Punch was probably the worst play here. Um, we'll see what the opponent has in the back. The opponent shields it, so at the very least it looks like they're a little bit weak to it, and in comes Bastiodon. So I'm thinking, can I still possibly win this here? And we have this uh, Pelipper and we have Bastidon. So let's see, one, two, three. Was that bad timing right there? I think I was trying to CMP the opponent. This might be CMP. Yeah, well, okay, it wasn't quite CMP. That's what I was trying to do anyway. Um, the opponent's gonna fire off a Stone Age here. I decide to let that go, thinking it'll be like less damage than what the opponent can throw. I'm just getting into too low health here. And yeah, this is just kind of looking rough here. Um, they come in with Pelipper and GG's to the opponent there. Um, I think shielding the Ice Punch is what cost me there. I thought it might have been enough for the Psychic. Uh, these battles were being played this morning here at about 6am, so usually my counting is pretty bad first thing. Um, I think if I was uh, counting a little bit better there, I probably um, would not have shielded the Ice Punch. So that was my mistake there. Um, I could have definitely won maybe both of those games. That Mandibus game was a little bit tough, but um, I think that last game was definitely very winnable there. So like, so far I was liking this team, but you know, one thing that I realised is like I'm getting a lot of positive leads. This is a pretty neutral lead, it is a win for Trevenant. Um, you don't necessarily want to stay in here the whole time though, because you do need your Trevenant to cover uh, some of your back Pokemon here. Um, so we probably just go for a Shadow Ball, the opponent lets it go. 
and at this point I think I'm happy enough to shield up a sludge bomb or a potential sludge bomb. The opponent, uh, or sorry, sludge wave, sorry. The opponent just goes straight forward and we're just going to go for a seed bomb to take this thing out. We'll see if the opponent wants to shield up here and this will give us a rough idea if they're weak to Trevenant in the back. As soon as they shield up, I decide to swap straight out, even though these are not very effective counters. Um, we're going to let the next move go. Oh no, sorry, we do shield up the next one. I was thinking they might go for the back-to-back -back, uh, sludge bombs and we're going to over farm as much as possible here. Um, I have been shielding Vigoroff quite a lot as I want to try and uh, put a lot of uh, work into the middle matchup. Now, in general, guys, you want to go for Body Slam. Um, if it's not super effective, Bulldoze is, because Bulldoze is a pretty per move. And, of course, you get stabbed with uh, Body Slam. So, just something to keep in mind if you do try out Vigoroof. Um, I did like Vigoroof quite a lot. You know, it, it doesn't have, like, the most dominant matchups ever, right? But, uh, here's the thing. It just does well against everything. It, it done well against a lot. I'm going to come into Trevenant here. In comes Chestnut. And they do have a shield. I'm going to go for a Seed Bomb just to go for a little bit of a chip. And just hope that the opponent's not counting here, basically. They were not counting. And they're going to go straight for the move here. Um, so that's kind of nice. Uh, I thought they would just try to, uh, you know, get me straight out of there. So I just go straight for that. Um, this is looking a little bit tough. Let's see if we can turn this around somehow. We've got Lantern and Vigoroof. One, two. So we're going to go for a Body Slam here. Let's see what the opponent does. Three, four, five. So this is looking tough. We can eat a Frenzy Plant on Lantern. So what we kind of need to do here is just eat a Frenzy Plant on this thing and get off a Surf. Can we get it off in time? The opponent could have went for a Super Power right there, which would have took us out. So the opponent made a bit of a mistake here. And we do take it out. And in comes the Zoom Roll. Can we get to this in time? This is going to be really, really close. We just about get to the Thunderbolt. So that was super, super close. And the opponent was just about to reach the move. Um, I think if the opponent just Super Powers me, I lose that match and we win the match on 1 HP. Absolutely love to see it. Definitely a very uh, tough team there. And I shouldn't have really been winning that one, but I'll take all wins that I should or should not win. And we're hopping into the next one here. You know, so I find like, you know, I'm in a pretty low elo and I'm not pretty, I'm honestly very unhappy with how things are going at the minute. Um, but I do find like, if I'm not getting absolutely joked, I do tend to, you know, see a lot of mistakes from the opponents. Um, we're going to go for a Shadow Ball on this thing and then just dip out. This would do a lot of damage. I'm going to try and catch a Sky Attack on the Lantern, which I successfully do. Of course, Lantern is my hardest answer for this thing. Um, so you might think it's a bit bad swapping into it. I'm expecting the opponent to swap out here and catch a Thunderbolt, but they do not. And we're just going to go straight for the move here. Um, I was expecting them to switch out. Um, since they're not switching out, I'm thinking that they're probably weak to it in the back. So at this point, I'm happy enough to uh, shield up. They go for a Dragon Pulse, and we're going to go for Farm Down on Altaria. The opponent probably should not have let me farm them down, and they come in with Medicham, which is quite interesting here. And um, we're going to go for a Thunderbolt to get this into um, almost half health. And we're getting them into the yellow roughly here. Um, the opponent lets us fire off another Surf, so I'll happily take that and go ahead and uh, chip it down. We're going to go for a Snipe here, and we get two, uh, two Shadow Claws through here. I'm happy enough just to let this go, um, because of course it has Al Altaria still in the back. And at this point, I'm thinking maybe I'll go for a Counter Down with the Vigoroof, <laughs> even though they're doing super effective with these. They were just about to reach the move, so I decided I'm not going to take any unnecessary damage. We're going to fire off a Body Slam. We CMP them, and in comes a Stunfisk. Now, one Earthquake from this range will just about take out. So what I decide to do is form up to 7 and go for a Body Slam. I'm really just trying to burn the clock here. And, um, yeah, so I'm basically shielding this up. The opponent does shield it, which is nice. And uh, we basically need to catch a move here. Uh, we're not going to outpace them. The opponent does throw, which is beautiful. Um, even if this is a Rock Slide, it, it is the Earthquake too, which is beautiful. Even if it's the Rock Slide, we should outpace to the uh, Bulldoze. And that was basically my win condition there. Go for a catch and go for a bulldoze. Good games to the opponent. Um, bulldozes don't quite take out Galarian Stunfisks. So that's kind of like the rough thing about Vigoroof. It has a lot of neutral play, but like in those lower shield scenarios against things like Stunfisk, it can be a little bit rough. Like against things like Reggie, of course, you would have a Focus Blast to watch out for. So like Stun, or, uh, sorry, Vigoroof, it is quite good, but it has its weaknesses here for sure. Um, it's definitely more of like just a... Um, like a Swiss Army Knife type of Pokemon, right, where it's just like, you've got a couple of good moves to use. Um, this is the mirror match. I'm going to uh, win CMP, so I go for the move straight away. And I fire the Seed Bomb straight away, hoping the opponent lets it go. Um, so they do let it go, and at this point I'm going to shield once and farm down. Because um, I don't want to leave myself in a position where I need Trevenant and don't have it. I think we farm down, we farm up to a Seed Bomb, and I think we're just going to swap straight out here. It is a Pelipper, of course. And um, yeah, we're going to just basically, I think, eat this move here. See what the opponent has in the back. Alright, so the opponent's staying in with Pelipper, so I'm thinking maybe they have a Stunfisk in the back, actually, um, since they're not coming straight into this thing. So that's my prediction at this point, and am I going to shield this up? I'm going to let this go. 
I'm thinking between uh, Lantern and uh, Trevenant, with a Seed Bomb loaded, we should hopefully be able to take out Stunfisk. So the opponent's farming up and up here, and in comes the Stunfisk. They farm up quite a lot, and they let us farm up quite a lot too. We're gonna get off back-to-back -back Surfs here. We're just gonna put this into a pretty low range. I'm gonna come in, uh, I'm gonna bank the Surf, and I'm gonna come in and get damage off the Seed Bomb. I was hopefully trying to catch uh, a move there. The opponent is gonna be forced to throw here anyway, so this is working out perfectly. Now the Pelipper still has energy, so we'll have to watch out for it. But we already have a Surf loaded here, so this is looking pretty good at this point. Um, we just need to basically shield an Earthquake off this thing. Uh, this thing like has no option really but to go for an Earthquake. They do go for Rock Scythe, but I'm going to outpace to the Surf, so that's perfectly fine. The opponent uh, might as well have just went for it. I was tempted to call it, but I know that one Hurricane does not take out, and I can basically spark it down or go for a Surf at the end, and that'll take out the Pelipper. So good games, um, it was looking a bit rough there for a minute, but um, we definitely turned it around and... Like I said, this team is just kind of working neutrally quite a lot, and I think like Lantern and Trevenant cover each other's weaknesses. And of course, um, the good thing about uh, Vigoroth is with Bulldoze and Body Slams, you're covering some of the weaknesses as well. You're able to do well against Lanterns. Um, the only thing that really is rough for Vigoroth, to be fair, is Ghost types. You're each dealing um, neutral damage, uh, of course, like neutral, like super uh, resisted damage. But uh, you know, Trevenant with Seed Bombs can do quite well. The opponent's staying in here for a minute, so I try to CMP them on the Thunderbolt. And since they're staying in here, I'm probably going to shield up this Thunderbolt. Um, so yep, yeah, we're going to shield this up. If they're not swapping straight out, you have to assume they're weak. Um, I'm going to just farm up a little bit here, a little bit extra, and go for the uh, Seed Bomb. So we'll see what the opponent comes in with. Come in with Skarmory. So I probably could just get straight out of here. I decided to farm up to almost the Shadow Ball and swap out, um, thinking that they're definitely weak in the back. We're gonna go for body slams on this thing. Of course, we've got Lantern for Skarmory, and like this is already pretty straightforward. We just let everything go. Is this power punch? It is power punch. These <laughs> Metachams with power punches are just coming out here. And um, we're gonna spam off another body slam, which will get a very low, and put it into seed bomb range. The opponent uh, does shield it. And at this point, we're gonna come in with Trevenant, and we're gonna fire straight off, I think, the seed bomb. Or do we go straight for the Shadow Ball? Yeah, we go straight for the seed bomb, and um, that will get it into a low enough range where if they do take us out, we can just like farm it down with Lantern, and at this point, I think we, we do shield it, okay. This is perfectly fine, this is the Psychic as well, and we're just going to get this thing out of here. The Switch Clock just came back up, so we can swap straight out, and this is straightforward at this point. Um, even if the opponent has Flash Cannon, like there's not a single move this thing can know, that'll one-shot the Lantern. So, uh, GG's to Skarmory, and it's a Pokemon I wanted to use, but it just gets so hard-walled against Lantern, you just have to use Noctile or something instead. I seen a leaderboard grinder using a Steel Wings Skarmory, so I don't know if that would be better, but um, it yeah, definitely it's a, an interesting Pokemon. I feel like I wish it had more potential, but it just doesn't. And you know, you're seeing another like really positive lead here. So you're probably thinking like, oh yeah, of course you're gonna win these matches, you're getting really good leads. Um guys, like I said yesterday, like I got completely hard walled lever in center. If I run Swampert Double Flyer, I get Bastiod on teams, or Swampert Ice Flyer, Bastiod on teams. Um I run different teams and I was getting different Pokemon, like Yesterday was rough, and you know today I'm winning, so like that's just how this goes. Um, again, it's only as good as what you see, and overall, like I think you know the Pokemon themselves are good in combination with each other. Um, but you know later on in the day, like I said, I seen some of the most hilarious teams. I seen a Linoon in the lead, which if you don't know, it knows Shadow Claw, and it has Grass Knot, so basically core breaks the entire team here. Basically, um, you know of course I need to get it on Vigoroof. Um, it'll Grass Knot the the Lantern. Um, I've seen a lot of Gliscors, Trevenants, uh, Scrafty teams, um, just teams that are just pretty much impossible for this team to beat. So, you know, it is one of those ones, guys, you know, you're seeing in the video that, oh yeah, this looks so amazing, but like, you know, again, it just depends on what you're seeing. Um, yeah, so the opponent's basically forced to, forced to shield this. Um, yeah, so I'm thinking they're weak in the back because uh, they've shielded up that and they've tried to go for Psycho Boosts. They didn't swap straight out this, uh, at the start. And funny enough, they have a Hypno in the back. Um, I decide to go for the Seed Bomb Bait, and in comes Lantern. What I should do here is go for two Surfs. I'm going to have to throw two moves anyway. Um, I thought I might be able to Thunderbolt and farm down, but as it turns out, we need uh, two moves anyway, so um, just throw a double Surf against this thing. Um, that's something to keep in mind, like two Surfs do more than one Thunderbolt. So if you can get off two Surfs, always go for that. Um, the one goes for Thunder Punch, just an Elemental Punch. Um, that's kind of what I was expecting. It can know like Shadow Ball and Focus Blast, but... Most of the time they're throwing elemental punches. Um, the opponent's only real option here is to farm down. They're not going to be able to and they're going to lose CMP. And that's going to be a good game. 
Uh, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe, and of course, turn on notifications. Uh, let me know your answer to the question in the, day in the, in the comments down below. And uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you're all having a fantastic day, and we did go 5-0 with that said. Of course, it went to hell afterwards, but, you know, that's just how it goes. Uh, thank you, everybody, for the support in these videos. Have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow for a brand new video.